Hey everyone, in this video, I wanted to show you how you could take music from a computer and put it onto your iPhone. Now, Apple doesn't make this process really easy because this is not the way they want you to do the workaround. They basically want you to buy things from iTunes and then it will sync between your iTunes and your iPhone. But if you have things outside of iTunes that you didn't purchase through iTunes, you could do this from a computer to an iPhone and it's a two-step process. The very first step is you'll need to have iTunes. So if you're on a Mac, you already have iTunes, go ahead and launch it. If you're on a PC and you don't have iTunes, you could simply go to apple.com slash iTunes slash download and I'll leave a link in the description for that and go ahead and download iTunes and launch it. And when you launch iTunes, you'll come to this page. I actually deleted everything from my iTunes so I could show you how to add songs to it. All you would have to do is on the library tab on the side here, make sure you have the latest version of iTunes if you're using an old iTunes. Make sure you come to songs or albums or however you want to organize your library. And then the songs that you have in a folder or a desktop, all you would have to do is select them and then just bring them right here. So it's gonna put it under the songs tab here. So if I go to the songs tab, I should see those three songs and now they're inside of my iTunes. So that's a really easy process for bringing a song from a computer into iTunes. Now to take these songs from iTunes to your device, that's the next step. And what we wanna do is we want to connect physically our iPhone to our computer with the lightning cable. So let me just unplug it here. So it just went away. I'm gonna plug it back in, physically plug the phone into the computer. And then you get this mark right here. So this is your iPhone. That's how you know it's been connected and it shows up right here. So now we have to change a setting before we could just grab these songs and drop it into our iPhone. So go ahead and click that iPhone icon that shows up here, your phone icon, click that. And it will take you to this page. And under the options here, this one by default should be on automatically sync. So go ahead and check that off. We don't need to do that right now. And we want to check on manually manage music and video. This has to be checked on to do the next step. So make sure you check this on right here. And then we could just press the back button here to go back to the page we were on. And all you will have to do is under the library, you have songs selected where you added the songs, select these songs, one or more, you could shift select. So you could select all of them even if you have a lot here or you have an album, just grab and drag it right here to this area of the iPhone and release. Now, if you've synced your iPhone on a different iTunes, on a different computer, it will give you a warning. It will replace all the iTunes songs that you have on there already. So make sure you're okay with that before you do it. I already did it and it didn't give me that warning, but it does give you that warning sometimes. So now if I come to my phone and I go to music, the songs that I just added have been added. Here's one, here's the other one. And I had some other songs on here already that I've synced to this iTunes. So that is as easy as it gets from taking a song from iTunes and dropping it onto your iPhone. So basically the process of adding a song is have it on your computer first, then bring it into iTunes. Make sure you have the latest iTunes. Then from there, connect your phone and then drag and drop that song into your phone, just like that from iTunes into your phone and then that will be added to your phone. And if you do it multiple times, it actually shows up multiple times on your phone. So then you could just select it here. I just control click or right click and delete from library and then it will delete it from there. I hope you found this helpful. I know it's not the easiest process, but this is a workaround to getting music from a computer onto your phone. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. I post really easy to follow tech tutorials five times a week and I hope to see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching.